Do you usually breeze through the airport? Or does the thought of facing a customs officer make you feel a bit nervous? If you've ever felt unsure about how to respond to their questions, you're not alone. Today, we're breaking down the key responses you need to sail through customs with confidence. Stick around and you'll be ready for whatever questions come your way. Welcome to Understand Real English. I'm Michaela, and today we're going to make sure you know exactly how to handle those tricky custom questions at the airport. If you want to train your ears completely free of charge, we offer training that took us months to develop. Download it for free today and start educating your ears now. Link in the description. All right, here's the first question. Can I have your passport, please? Can I have your passport? This is a common request. You'll hear at airports or border crossings. The officer or staff member needs your passport to check your identity, nationality, and other important details. Notice the rising intonation. Can I have your passport, please? Can I have your passport, please? Can I have your passport? Can I have your passport? You can answer the question by here you go. Here you are. Here you go. Here you go. These are polite and simple phrases to use when handing over something, like your passport. It's a smooth way to keep the conversation going and show that you're ready to cooperate. And here's an example. Can I have your passport, please? Here you go. 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 The next question is, what is your occupation? What's your occupation? Here. The officer is asking, what do you do for a living? This could pop up on a form, in an interview, or even at customs. They want to know your job title or profession, which helps them understand a bit more about you. What's your occupation? What's your occupation? So, how can you answer this question? You can say, I'm an English teacher. I'm a lawyer. I'm an analyst. This is your chance to tell them what you do, whether you're a teacher, engineer, or artist. This phrase is how you identify your job or profession. Here's an example. What is your occupation? I'm a teacher. I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. I'm an analyst. I'm an analyst. Let's move on to another question. Where are you flying from? This question comes up often. When you're traveling internationally, they are asking you where your journey began. It's a simple way for them to track where you've been and to make sure everything checks out with your travel documents. Notice the schwa a sound in from. From, from. Where are you flying from? A possible answer could be, I'm from place. From Central America. From New York. Just mention the city or country you started from. It's a quick and easy way to give them the information they need. From Central America. From Central America. From New York. From New York. Next up, a common question you might hear is, have you ever visited name of country? Officials might ask you to understand your travel history. They are curious if you've been to this country before, and if so, when? And you can respond with, no, this is my first time. I was here, time. No, it's my first time. I was here in World War II. 
These responses help you share your travel history. If it's your first visit, just say so. If you've been there before, let them know when. It helps them connect the dots on your travel history. We have the vowel sound er in first. First, first. Let's consider an example. Have you ever visited Canada? No, this is my first time. No, it's my first time. No, it's my first time. As I was here in World War II. As I was here in World War II. Now, imagine you're asked, are you traveling alone? This is about figuring out if you're on this trip by yourself or with others. Whether you're solo or with a group, it's important for them to know it can affect things, how your trip is processed or who else they might need to check. There's a schwa, a sound in the word traveling, traveling. You might answer, yes, I'm traveling alone. No, I'm traveling with someone. Yes, I'm traveling alone. These are simple and clear ways to answer whether you're alone or with others. Here's how this might play out. Are you traveling alone? No, I'm traveling with my friends. Yes, I'm traveling alone. Yes, I'm traveling alone. Moving on to another question. What is the purpose of your trip? When you're asked this, they are trying to understand why you are visiting the country. Are you there for vacation, business, or something else? Your answer helps them make sure you're entering for the right reasons. What is the purpose of your trip? What is the purpose of your trip? You can reply with, I'm here to, verb. I'm here on vacation or business. I'm here to visit my mother. I'm here on vacation. I'm here on business. This phrase is super flexible. You can use it to explain why you're in the country, like, I'm here to study, or I'm here on vacation. In the word business, the letter S is read as Z. Z, Z. Let's see an example. What is the purpose of your trip? I'm here on business. I'm here to visit my mother. I'm here to visit my mother. I'm here on vacation. I'm here on vacation. I'm here on business. I'm here on business. Next, you might be asked, how long will you be staying? They ask this to know how much time you plan to spend in the country, whether it's a quick trip or an extended stay. It's something they need to record, often to ensure you're sticking to visa rules or entry conditions. Your answer could be four days, four weeks, four months. I will be here for days. I will be here for weeks. I will be here for months. For two weeks. I'll be here for two weeks. Whether you're giving a short or full answer, this is how you tell them how long you'll stay. It could be as simple as for two weeks or more complete, I will be here for two weeks. Here's an example. How long will you be staying? For two weeks. For two weeks. For two weeks. I'll be here for two weeks. I'll be here for two weeks. Another important question to prepare for is, do you have anything to declare? This is a question you'll hear at customs. They're asking if you're carrying anything that needs special attention, like expensive goods, large sums of money, or items that might be restricted. If you do, you'll need to declare them officially. You can simply say, yes, no, nothing. 
Yes. No, no, nothing. If you have something to declare, say yes and be ready to explain. If not, no, nothing. Tell them there's nothing special to note. Here's how you might respond. Do you have anything to declare? No, nothing. Yes, yes. No, no, nothing. No, no, nothing. Lastly, you might hear, how many bags are you checking in? At the airport, this question is about your luggage. They want to know how many bags you're checking in so they can tag them and get them onto the plane. It's all part of getting your stuff safely to your destination. Notice the vowel sound, a ah, in bag. Bag, bag. How many bags are you checking in? And you would respond with number, bags. Two bags. One bag. When asked about your luggage, this is how you tell them how many bags you're checking in. Whether it's one bag or three bags, it's a straightforward answer that helps you get your luggage sorted. For instance, how many bags are you checking in? Two bags. Two bags. Two bags. One bag. One bag. And that's it for today's lesson on responding to custom officers at the airport. Did you find these tips helpful? Drop a comment below with your thoughts or any questions you might have. If you're ready to take your English skills even further, be sure to grab my free ebook in the video description. It's packed with practical tips for all kinds of real life situations. The link is in the description below. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and share this video with anyone who might find it useful. Catch you in the next video.